make it to the future. They're getting all the answers they wanted for every one of their questions. There's still some things that are like, well, why did this happen? Pff, I don't know. That's just it. It was a freak thing that happened. One day it's like, tra -la -la -la, birds everywhere, everyone's happy, and then pff, out of nowhere. But they get all the answers they want, how, like where the Black Moon family comes from, why it's happening. Chibiusa is Mamoru and Usagi's daughter. What? <laughs> I just, I just thought their reaction was adorable. It's just like, oh my god, I'm a parent, oh my god. I just love like how they explain everything about time anomaly as well. How like, there's like copies of yourself, one from the future, one from the past, in the same timeline. This shouldn't happen. I just like how they explain that better in this show because like in the past they just got away with everything. It kind of brings a little more drama, a little more intensity to this scene. So it's welcomed. That's one thing I miss. Esmeraldzilla. I miss that. I just, I just miss Emerald being a dinosaur. <laughs> Cause she, it, it, it happened like in the manga, like where she asked Wiseman for a power upgrade and she got it. And but I just liked it better in the original series because she turned into a dinosaur. <laughs> I think that's more satisfying because we hated her more than anything. I mean, like there were some qualities to Es, to Esmerad. I'm trying to call her Esmerad that were very annoying and Crystal in the manga how she was just trying to be a suck up to Diamond and be more appealing to Diamond prove that she's better than everybody else but you gotta admit she was more annoying in the original show so her turning into a dinosaur in the original show was justified Esmerozilla! Ah! Well that happened Don't you think Diana's adorable? Just look at Diana you think Diana just the cutest little thing ever? No. You remember when she used to be like annoying? Like how she was so persistent in Mamoru studying for his finals? Or reminding the girls that eating a lot of chocolate will make you fat? Didn't you guys once say that eating a lot of chocolate can be very fattening? Hmm? Uh. <laughs> Shut up, Diana. Could not have a chocolate now. I still got like a giant cake. I should call my friends and be all like, bitches, I got cake at my house. I'm trying to- I'm trying to stay skinny, so, uh... Cake! So far everything's following according to the manga, which I love, I love, I love, I love. I just think I like the double Kamehameha from Tuxedo Mask and, uh, King and Damien. It's just more awesome moments with Tuxedo Mask. This is the season for Tuxedo Mask right here. He's just gonna keep getting bigger and better, especially in Super S. Spoiler warnings in three, two, one. He gets a crystal because we have the serenity with her silver crystal. Mamoru gets a golden crystal and it is beautiful. Mamoru was supposed to get a power upgrade too. The golden crystal was protected by Helios until Mamoru was ready to use it. Helios gives Mamoru the new power and he becomes a lot more useful to the gang. It only makes sense. The moon can't be the only thing to have a super crystal. Gets even a bigger power upgrade and he gets to like do like a dual power attack with Sailor Moon. It wasn't like, it, there's still like a Chibiusa uh, Sailor Moon power attack, but Mamoru gets to fight with his lady hand in hand. It's awesome. Come on, Toei. Come on, Viz. Make me that series already. I want Sailor Moon S, Super S, and Stars. I want my glorious Sailor Scout versus Sailor Scout battle. Make it happen. I just, lo I just love these characters in this series, especially with Chibiusa looking at like what she's doing to Usagi with her anxiety. Like Usagi's having a panic attack. Like all of her friends are disappearing one by one. She's taking on this huge responsibility of trying to save the future and like she thinks she's gonna lose Mamoru to another girl. Like she's young, naive. She's gonna think a lot of stuff. And even when she like yelled at Mamoru for never thinking of her and she runs away, she's just like in her bedroom like, what the hell am I doing? I shouldn't be thinking of myself, but I can't help it. And I like her response saying like, instead of saying, let me protect Chibi Usa, let's, let's both protect Chibi Usa. See, I, I kind of like her reasoning. I back up uh, Usagi's temper tantrum right there because she was thinking like, we're a team. 
Stop trying to take all the responsibility. Let's work together. Think of me. I want to help you. I want to be of some help when everything around me is crashing down. But at the same time, Mama was thinking of her because he's just like, girl, there's a lot going on. I just want you to rest. Let me take care of you. Let me handle this, okay? This just backs up my reasonings for why they're the most romantic couple in anime because they think for each other. Like, she wants to work with him. He wants to protect her and make sure she's okay and do all the work for her. He, he just wants to be, you know, Mr. Supporter. And it's just a wonderful combination. I love those two so much. When you see Chibusa, she's just, like, analyzing what's going on. Like, she blames herself for what happened in the future. And, like, she's looking at, like, what's happened between Usagi and Mamoru in the past. And she's blaming herself for everything. Kid, come on. Not everything's your fault. You would think, for being nearly a thousand years old, that you'd be a little bit more wiser. That's bad grammar. More wiser. I graduated. I have a degree. I graduated high school and I went to te technical school. Anyways, but yeah, Endemian pointed out that these people who live in Crystal Tokyo can live up to a, about a thousand years or so. And you would think, because Chibi Usa was born in the 21st century, so she's like maybe like a couple of decades younger than Usagi and Mamoru, so she is at least like 900 years old. You would think. Not only would she grow, but they do explain why she can't grow. It's because, like, uh, in the manga, they explain it's because that she hasn't reached her ultimate power. And when she gets enough power, she can mature her body. But pretty much, you, you know, you get to a certain point where you can decide whether you want to age more or not. And that's the power you're given. But Chibiusa doesn't really have that ability, so she's staying a kid until she gets m m she gets more of a power and more of a responsibility. She, she grows in stars to like a teenager, but not as big as Usagi still. But still, you would think with that many centuries behind you, girl, you'd be a little bit more wise in age. But no, she's blaming herself for everything, and she's like panicking over everything, doesn't know what to do, is unsure of herself. There's a cat in my shot. You're ruining everything, rascal! I love you so much, I love you. So we're getting on this trail of like Usagi's not sure what to do and Mamoru's not sure what to do so Chibiusa thinks it's more wise for her to go on her own and try to take responsibility and figure out the solution herself. Plus they pointed out that Usagi cannot use the Imperial Silver Crystal in the 30th century so it's just like well crap what do we do? And that's when Esmeralda pops out of nowhere and uses the power that wise men gave her and which she be pretty much became uh... Mr. Fantastic, with the stretchy arms, or maybe Elastigirl, there, there you go, she's Elastigirl. Wise man gave her the power to be Elastigirl. Good job, good job Black Moon, that's, that's great use of your power there. Come on, Esmeraldzilla! <laughs> Come on, Esmeraldzilla! I want, I want the Esmeraldzilla. Quick, no, you can actually play her as an extra boss in Sailor Moon Another Story. One of the best RPGs ever. But scouts make it in just in time, and Demian and Tuxedo Mask used the Kamehameha bomber way to destroy Esmeralda, and everything is. Hi, honey, how are you? How you doing? You're just so cute, Diamond. You're just so cute. Diamond comes up, and just hearing. Mamoru Miyano saying Sailor Moon, Tuxedo Kamen, Sailor Venus. Sailor Moon, Sailor Venus, Tuxedo Kamen. Like that. It's just funny. So cute and so funny. <laughs> and we get to one of my favorite parts in the whole series. I had to wait two weeks to see in its full fruition. It's gonna happen in the next episode. Down right now, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Get a full on kiss, and it's what I want. I don't have issues. <laughs> I asked Wiseman to give me a power, and this is all he gave me. <laughs> Wiseman's not that cool. It wasn't the original show. If anything, these glasses would have been like shooting laser beams from the original show, but no, all they get is vibrations. Hmm. <laughs> 
two weeks from now we're gonna get the next episode episode 21 of Sailor Moon Crystal who knows if we're gonna get another series with Sailor Moon S, Super S, and Stars I'm hoping we do I want I mean if they can continue with the uh, if they can do all the seasons of Dragon Ball Z with Dragon Ball Kai Give me the rest of the Z series, please. I want less bitchy outer senshis. I want Sailor Saturn. Can you tell Sailor Saturn's my favorite? I bet you didn't know. She's my fave. I like Sailor Saturn. But the series just gets bigger and better the more we go down, especially stars. The manga version of stars is just <laughs> epic. And I can't wait, hopefully. Please, Toei and Fizz, please, please, Pony Guy, simply. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I've been late, but uh, hopefully I've caught up till now. And hopefully I'll keep releasing videos on time. We're still dealing with some uh, sponsorship, copyright issues, but we're going to take care of it. I'm not going to get rid of Anime America that easily. <laughs> We keep you guys posted. Just like us on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram. We just got Instagram. Follow us. Link down in the description box. But more awesome videos are on the way. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned, Anime America. Hopefully, I'll see you at Florida Anime Experience April 24th. When is it? Florida Anime Experience April 24th to the 26th at the Park in Radisson Hotel near Walt Disney World. Come and see me. It's gonna be awesome. Bye. Hey, we got a website. You should check it out. Link is in the description box down below. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. So follow us. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe to Anime America Podcast for more awesome reviews. If you're interested in anything of pop culture, check out our other awesome channel, Pop Spectrum. You'll be glad you did. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to Anime America. There's one question that nobody answered. You see the Sailor Scouts in the future, along with King and Damien, all lined up in this row. Just laying out there like corpses. As Queen Serenity is lying in her crystal upon this personally engraved pedestal. Who did all that?